I love your cameras, but is there an app that will allow me to see what cameras are available to me as well as control all of their settings, functions, etc.? And we do have an application for that, which we're going to demonstrate in just a moment, the CMP or camera management platform, which is free to our customers. What a perfect segue, Tess. Thank perfect. you for asking Thank that question. The us. more perfect <laughs> union. Let's do it. All right. So that is literally our next thing on our list here. <coughs> Excuse me, is to open up the camera management platform. You can get this at ptzoptics.com slash CMP. Totally free for Mac, PC, and Linux computers. And we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to do this from scratch. From scratch. I was going to do this from load last configuration because I've already got it all set up the way I want it. But you know what? I'm feeling lucky today. I'm going to I'm gonna do this from scratch because I want to show you guys how easy it is. Doing it on the fly. To do it from scratch. So this is scratch. This is... The way you, way you can set this up is in the bottom right, you can look at this in a quad view, a triple view, or a double view. I'm going to do a dual view. Because today what we're going to do is we're going to add some two cameras and we're going to color match them. But I'll show all the functionality of this. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a G2 camera, a PTZ Optics 12X G2 camera. You're you know. seeing all the cameras that are on your network currently. Yep, so that's showing every single camera on the network. Ideally, it brings in a little image of one. Um, we've got some cameras with some, maybe some older firmware here, but we've got the 12X G2, and then we're going to do a Move SE right here. I've, Mike, do you remember which one we were going to do? I think we were going to do the one that's on in on the tripod on the floor here. I think you said 58. So it's this one here. So I'm going to add these. I'm just going to add two cameras. I could add 15 cameras if I want to. I'm just going to add two. Boom. Cameras have been added. 58. Thank you. All right, let's zoom out a little bit so we can see the whole whole screen here. And then um, I appreciate your zoom-ins though, Mike. They look good. But let's zoom this out here. Beautiful. And on the left-hand side, all the cameras that you add are going to show up on the left-hand side over here. So I'm going to add one camera over here. And one of the things you can see right away, you've got a couple different options. You've got PTZ control. You've got color settings. You've got a dashboard where you can get notifications. You've got your auto tracking area, which we'll take a peek at. And you've got a very handy command interface and a camera properties tab. So all of that is super helpful. Um, we're going to start with PTZ control. And what that does is it's going to give us a PTZ camera control. Now, you'll notice that the video is just, I'll call it choppy. Sure. Right? And the reason why is you can right click it and you can look at this in a super smooth MP4 video. But I'm not going to do that. You know why? The engineers have got the default stream at snapshot because it takes a very it takes like a snapshot every two seconds or every second or something like that. And it's very low bandwidth on the processor of the camera because Mike is using the NDI feed mm -hmm. for this live stream. So keep in mind the CMP is not for your high quality, high bitrate, high bandwidth video that should be designed for your live streams and your recordings. While it can pull that high quality stream, we generally don't do that because you want to sit, reserve that for your video production. So it, this is meant to slide right in next to vMix, OBS, your TriCaster, your live stream studio, and work with work with these cameras without taking a whole bunch of bandwidth that you might want that you would probably want for your other software. Does the CMP work with a G1? It should. It should. It definitely should. That's for you, Space Age. So once again, I'm going, hi, Space Age. Thanks for having, being an, an OG with a G1. <laughs> um, we, don't, we, don't, we don't even get those that much anymore. So it's nice, nice to see, hear some G1 customers still around. Uh, 